TV, and I've actually got an official microphone this week, somehow. We're here at Maidena Bike Park, and we're doing a very brief preview of what will be the Red Bull Hardline course. We're here with uh, Simon French, the owner of Maidena Bike Park, uh, on the mountain yourself. What do you think of this course, what you've got here so far, what have you got? Yeah, look, so far the, the team's just getting underway building it. So we're sitting at where the course start will be right now. Mm -hmm. About 600 metres of total elevation. Nice, rocky, technical, challenging terrain at the top and then some huge jumps down the bottom. All right, that's, that sounds like all you need for Red Bull Hardline and uh, we'll see if we can compete with that Welsh mountainside. That was the point, yeah. We're down here on the, uh, the second of multiple cliff drops and uh, Simon, what do you reckon down there? <laughs> oh, that one's worse than the Australian cricket team. <laughs> this is the, the mid-section of uh, a really technical cliff drop run. So you're on one of the smaller ones still and landing in a really fast off-camber section and ready for the next one. Yeah, this is about two wins on the uh, wind scale. So yeah, not too crazy yet. Here in Australia, we actually have very dangerous snakes on course. So that it's actually called the Red Bull Harder Line. You've, contestants have to contend with the wildlife here as well. No, they're loving it. They're like... He's down. Oh, there we go. We've got the tape down here. We're just going to see what sort of measurements we've got on this drop here. We're going to have. Uh, Reese, About 12. 12.1 meters. 12.1 meters. Yeah, yeah, take a bit of angle off that one. Yeah, lip, get lip to knuckle. Get the protractor out. Looks good. 12 meters. 12 meters. And some nice rocks you go over there. That's going to be very good. All right, so what's going to be happening here, Simon? Yeah, look, we're going to keep this one under wraps, but it is one of the biggest features on the course. And uh, Reese, there's going to be a bit of a vibe going on here. Yeah, look, we're going to inject a little bit of our usual Medina spin on things and we'll have a bit of a beer garden and a party set up here at the anonymous feature. Should be sick. All right, well, we'll leave that to everyone's imagination and uh, they can work it out. All right, so what have we got through this section, Simon? Uh, really just a high-speed section into the creek gap. So we've got a gap behind us sitting at roughly 90 foot. Yep. So the aim here is just to come in as fast as we possibly can. A couple of little skipping hip step downs and then off into the abyss. And just, yeah, tuck in and uh, pull up. Pretty much, yeah. What do you reckon, Reese? Yeah, it gets the uh, butterflies going for sure looking at it. So that's probably about right for hardline, I guess. Standing here with uh, Darcy on quite bit, possibly one of the biggest shark fins and apparently you're going to build it even a bit bigger. Yeah, I'm hoping to uh, make it a bit, probably about a metre higher, yep. taper it through and then um, that gives the higher release point less of a turn at the bottom of the corner and then hopefully we can pull a bit more distance then, so. <laughs> quite something, but um, yeah, and uh, it's looking very good so far, it's a lot, a lot of uh, hours in the machine. Yeah, yeah, here every day for uh, seven and a half to eight hours yep. plus sometimes, so it depends, but um, yeah, slaving away, loving it, it's good. How, how long have you been going on the course so far? Uh, we've been here for about a month and a bit, yep. so yeah. Already a month and a bit, sure. yeah. Well, it's looking good. Thank you. There's some big features. Yeah, yeah, definitely, so is, thank is you. Is this the biggest features you've ever built? Oh, hands down. Yeah. Yeah, by far. <laughs> and how good is it to be building like something that's pushing the boundaries of what's possible? Um, for me, like, I, I'm absolutely so stoked to be a part of this and be able to show what I can do and push these features because, like, really, like, it's rare that yeah. anyone gets the chance to do this. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty pretty stoked, so it should be good. All right. Not a bad job to have. No, absolutely. But then testing it, are you, are you worried? Um, I mean, with the size of these features, you have to kind of be a bit cautious. So, yeah. obviously, there's going to be some nerves, but, um, like, I trust trust my judgment enough, so yeah. willing to do so. Is that all right. Nice work, mate. Thank you. Cheers. So how long have you been in the machine just on this jump? Uh, probably four or five days now. Five days? Yeah. yeah. And uh, you, you, you said you've already had to shorten it a little bit. Uh, yeah, so um, just while stacking, the process is kind of just moving dirt. So yeah. they first measured it out, it was 120, so obviously that's too big. So. Yeah. Gonna pull it back a bit more, so yeah. All right. 
well, yeah, the eyeometer put you off a little bit at yeah. 120. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Get the eyeometer out and uh, yeah, she get her accurate 110. 110, hoping for, but it really depends on speed. Obviously, all the testing of the features, things will change. So potentially, we're going to be able to make 110. All right, looking forward to see it. And uh, yeah, that's all the way over there. There's this machine down in the hole. Oh, we're we're all out of tape. We're trying to measure this one up, but we're out of tape at. How much? 30 metres there. 30 metres there, so yeah. She's a couple more than 30. We're going to need a new tape. Yeah, <laughs> need a longer tape for this one. All right, so we've made it to the bottom, Reese. Uh, and what's the actual plan for the event program so far? Yeah, so we, of course, have Red Bull Hardline, but along with that, we're doing a five-day mountain bike festival. So we're going to have a downhill race, just a regular downhill race, uh, as well as a big jump jam in our new free ride zone, and then a few kids' events, things like that. And then uh, as well, just a big expo, of, uh, different food and drinks from Tasmania. So a bit of a week long celebration in the Tasmanian summer. Sounds like it's really gonna be a good time. And uh, if you wanna get tickets, how do you do that? Uh, you can do it on the Red Bull Hardline website. That links you to everything we're doing at Medina Bike Park as well. And uh, the events end of February 19th to the 25th. All right. Well, we hope to see you there. Not sure if I'll be keen to ride it. Yeah, what do you think? You've seen the whole track now. What's uh, what's your impressions, Win? It's uh, big, and it's very hard to visualize a bike going over some of the jumps, but uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be one to watch. Yeah, that's right. If it looks big on camera, it's going to be real big in person. Go big or go home. That's it. I'll be going home. Cheers. Thanks, Win. <coughs> oh, sorry, Win. Cheers. Cheers.